Welcome everybody to the Ditch the Dad Bod and Lose 20 Pounds by the 4th of July Masterclass. Thank you all for coming. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been talking about how just because you're a dad doesn't mean you have to settle for a dad bod. Society places us on these limiting beliefs and many of us fall victim to the trap and we stay there for the rest of our existence. If you follow the blueprint that I've outlined in the step-by-step -step roadmap, you will indefinitely lose 20 pounds in the next 12 weeks, I guarantee that. So let's get into it. So first off, as far as setting up our diet, we must establish baseline calories. I'm gonna go back and forth from the left to the right side of the page to try to show you how we're doing each step. So first off, we're gonna multiply our body weight by 10. And if we weigh 200 pounds, that equals 2000 calories. That is our baseline caloric goal, okay? We will have high carb days and low carb days. We will train on the high carb days and we'll do cardio or be off on the low carb days. So right off the bat, if we weigh 200 pounds, we have 200 grams of protein, which is 800 calories. We also, as I stated on the left side, we'll start with 200 grams of carbs, which is also 800 calories. The remaining amount of calories will come from fat. So we have 800 calories from protein, 800 calories from carbs. Out of 2,000 calories, that leaves us with 40, 40, excuse me, 400 more calories to be fat grams. Now, carbs and protein are four calories per gram, and fat has twice as much energy. So fat is nine calories for, per gram. So to find out our fat intake, we must divide 400 calories by nine, and that equals 44 grams of fat. So protein and fat will remain constant over the next 12 weeks. The only macronutrient that will change will be carbohydrates. So in our baseline diet, we have our training day and our off cardio day. So every day, no matter what, 200 grams per protein, one pound per, one gram per pound of weight. So on the macro training day, we have 200 grams of carbs. And on the off or low carb day, we have half that amount of carbs. So we have 100 grams of carbs. And as I earlier stated, the only macronutrient that's going to change is the carb amount. And from this total macros for, for the day, for a training day, that's 200 grams of protein, 200 grams of carbs, and 44 grams of fat. We will distribute that evenly over four evenly spaced meals in the day. So in each meal, we'll have 50 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, and 11 grams of fat. This is the simplest way to break it down so you're not using huge numbers and counting calories. You know your grams, you break it to per meal, and it's easy peasy. And then our cardio day, which is 200 grams of protein, 100 grams of carbs, and 44 grams of fat, we divide that by four even meals, and we get 50 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs, and 11 grams of fat. So as I previously stated, protein and fat stays the same. Carbs are the only macronutrient that changes. And always know that you have half as many carbs on the cardio day as you do on the training day. So in a training day, you're having 50 grams of carbs per meal, and on an off or cardio day, you're having 25 grams per meal. So that's our baseline as far as the diet. Now weight training will be full body, three times per week, three sets per exercise, and we're gonna alternate exercise one and two. So an example of the structure would be an upper body push, supersetted with a lower body pull. Next, an upper body pull, supersetted with a lower body push. And then we finish supersetting a core exercise with an arm exercise. So we're going to have an example workout. And as far as making your workouts, it can be the same workout all three days, or you can have three different workouts, however you please, but just stick to the upper push, lower pull, upper pull, lower push, core and arms together. So an example workout will be bench press and RDL supersetted. 
Next, it would be chin up and squat supersetted. And you would finish the workout with hanging knee raises and barbell curls supersetted. On our cardio day, we're just gonna aim for a heart rate. So we're gonna go for 130 to 140 beats per minute. That should put most people in a fat burning zone. And the stair stepper is preferred. The stair stepper burns a shitload of calories. And as far as when to do the cardio, there's no more weight loss. Uh, you know, you're not going to lose any more weight doing ca uh, cardio first thing in the morning fasted or any other time during the day. It's just a lot easier with your schedule and to sip, separate it from your weight training to perform better in your weight training. But the two times I recommend for doing cardio would be on your off days, first thing in the morning, fasted. That would be the easiest way to work with your schedule. If your schedule was a mess and you had to do your cardio at a different time, you could do it post-workout after each workout, and that would keep you having only three workouts per week, and that would work just fine. So we start in with phase one parameters. So each phase, the steps, reps, rest, cardio, and carbs change. So in weeks one to four, we're shooting for 10,000 steps per day. We're shooting for 10 reps per set, and we're going to rest 30 seconds between exercises. So for example, you would do your bench press, take 30 seconds, do your RDL, take 30 seconds, go back to your bench press. Our cardio for phase one to four, excuse me, our cardio for phase one, which is week one to four, will be 20 minutes three times per week, preferably on the stair step. And as far as carbs, like I've previously stated, it'll be 200 grams on a high day, which is a training day, and 100 grams on an off day or cardio day. Also, if you'd like to get a little more fancy, you can add a 12-hour intermittent fast on the off day. In phase two, we step everything up a little bit. So we move up to 12,000 steps per day. We drop down to eight reps per set. So with this being said, we want to continually use progressive overload and lift heavier weights. We're going to now increase the rest to help us lift heavier weights using 60 second rest between exercises. So again, you would do the bench press, take 60 seconds, do the RDL, take 60 seconds, and you'd be back to the bench press. And then our cardio increases to 30 minutes, three times per week. And our carbs drop slightly, to 150 grams per day on the high day and 75 grams per day on the low or off day. And again, you're still going to separate these meals by four meals. So in this scenario, <clears throat> you would divide four meals by 150 grams to get your grams per meal. And on your off day, you would divide four by 75 to get your amount of carbs per meal on your off day. And again, if you want to get a little more advanced, you can do a 14-hour intermittent fast on your off days. Then we come into phase three, the grand finale. So here we're going to up the steps to 15,000 steps per day. And again, make sure everything counts. Do not miss any steps. Our reps are going to drop down to six reps per set. So again, we're going to be going heavier with the weights. This will give you a more dense, hard, ripped look as opposed to everybody thinks that low reps are better for getting cut. That is the biggest fake news on planet Earth. <clears throat> you want to lift heavier weights for fewer reps to look more dense, ripped, and cut. And again, we're going to increase the rest to 90 seconds between exercises. So for example, you would do a bench press, take 90 seconds, do the RDL, take 90 seconds, and then we're back to the bench press. And number four, we have our cardio. We're adding another 10 minutes. So now we're doing 40 minutes of cardio three times per week. And as far as our carbs, we're dropping down to 100 grams of carbs on our high day and 50 grams on our low day. And again, we want to evenly distribute these grams across the day. Now in phase three, I might do this a little bit different. I would probably have three evenly spaced meals with the carbs, protein, and fat and then have one additional meal of just protein at the end of the day. So you'd have three evenly balanced meals and one meal that is just protein at the end of the day. 
So if we're going to separate 100 grams of uh, carbs into three meals, that would be about 33 grams per meal. And on our off day, I would do 15 grams per meal three times. That'll leave you about 45 grams, and you have a little bit of a cushion because you'll probably get some here and there carbs. But that will land you in a pretty good spot. So if you think you can nail this, give them hell. Give it a whack. You know, I really think that anybody that follows this program will easily lose 20 pounds by the 4th of July. But if you feel like you need any additional guidance or clarity, feel free to book a free consultation call. You can click this link. And also, I will have this uh, document available on the document that I'm going to give you. It'll be only till phase one. But if you want to continue with the program, just contact me and I'll give you phase two and phase three. I don't want to overwhelm anybody. I just want you to be able to follow the most simple path to your goal. So again, you know, you don't have to settle for a dad bod. You can keep it simple. Three days a week lifting weights, which is probably less than you're doing now. 20 minutes of cardio, 30 minutes of cardio, then 40 minutes of cardio in the last phase. And this will be plenty to drop your body fat and lose 20 pounds. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a DM. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you.